Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have to talk about the second batch of footies cards, another day of the footies promo, and especially the new players that are in best of packs. I want to talk about that stuff today. Um, starting off with the content that we got on this wonderful Wednesday with the, uh, the Shot Stopper. This is probably the most curious uh, footies player pick vote to date. It is really interesting, and I'm going to vote Neto here. I don't know what everybody else is voting for. I have a feeling that Ariola is probably what most people are voting for, but I would love to see a boosted Neto card, a Brazilian goalkeeper, um, just because I could use him with Ramos and um, Militao. I would love another Brazilian keeper in this game, so I'm voting for Neto. That's my reasoning for it. But... We got a lot of stuff today, and it was basically all um, struggled around packs. We'll go and look at the uh, SBC stuff here really quick. Of course, we have the upgrades. We'll talk about um, some of the SBCs right now as well, since these packs have come out, because there are some crazy, crazy prices on the market. But, of course, we get the Footies Voting Day SBC, giving out a free pack as well. And uh, that's basically all that we got today. And we got the Peter Crouch. How could I forget? A pretty sick Peter Crouch SBC card. It, it's ri ridiculously cheap to do. 82 rated squad, one team of the week player, one English player. You get a 90 rated card. I want to try him out because he's six foot seven. I would love to try him out. He's got 99 heading accuracy and he's got a really high finishing. I think it's like 97 finishing or something like that. That might be a fun card uh, to try as well. But we need to look at a few things on the market. I know it's rewards day. A lot of people are opening rewards. If you uh, haven't opened your awards at the time of this video, save them for a little bit later today. I'll be opening them live on stream. Twitch.tv twitch backslash the foot accountant. I'll be there opening uh, some packs on stream later today. Ch uh, also check my Twitter to see when I go live there. Little self promo section. But we got new cards and packs, and I want to talk about that with you guys today. The best of packs second batch is out, it is here, and uh, there's some there's a lot better cards in it than the first time around not saying the first time is bad But the second time is just that much better So we're gonna take a look at batch two in a second, but I want to say something about batch number three I had understood this incorrectly. I believe the first time that I read through it Let's read this again. The first batch will be released on July 3rd We knew that second batch was released today and the third batch which will include some of the top players from the first two batches will be released on July 31st when I had read this initially, when I had read this initially, I thought that the third batch was just going to be a re-release of only cards in the first two batches. Now that it says some, and from what they put out today, they didn't put out the major league team of the seasons, I think that basically what we're going to see on this July 31st for the third batch is we're going to see a couple players from the first um, two batches, but they're going to put the big league, the major league team of the seasons back in packs. I think we're going to see that uh, on July 31st. So we have the, t the same time frame as batch number one. It was two weeks from July 3rd till July 17th, another two weeks from July 17th until July 31st. Um, so we'll have this best of set two for uh, two weeks in a row. And then basically starting on July 31st for batch number three, it's basically going to be best of. So the best of is basically how I see this. Um, any special card that a player has is basically going to be in packs. That's kind of how I see it, even though they're calling it Batch 3. It seems like it's going to be very similar to Best Of from last year, where the best version of every single player of the game is in packs. So that's how I see that. Let's go take a look at this Batch number 2. I know you guys are probably kind of familiar with what what is already going into this as the web page loads. Um, but we have a select few of the Carnival, Future Stars, Headliners, Team of the Knockout Stage, that's basically what I expected. Um, some of these cards right here, that's basically what I expected. There you go, you can see it now. This is basically what I was expecting uh, from this promo. And then they threw in the lower league tots. You have some EFLs, some Air Divisi. Most importantly, you do have De Young, DeLict, Dumfries, Van Persie. So those that's pretty good. Um, Latin America tots. Liga No, so you have Militao back in packs, as well as Tellez. So that's huge. Um, for some of those people out there that are looking to maybe get some of those cards in their team. I would love to get um, Militao. 
as one thing. Then also some uh, rest of the world team of the season cards are out as well. Saudi League Tots, Super League Tots, and then some select man of the matches, which some of these man of the matches are really low level, and it makes sense because they have to put some of those cards in packs. But then some of them are pretty good as well. Like you have Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, um, you have a Divac Origi man of the match, you have an Alexander Lacazette, a Jordi Alba, and uh, a Poulsen, an Ilicic, a KDB man of the match card. So you have you have some decent man of the match cards, and then also some team of the weeks down here as well. Um, Aguero, Thiago Silva, Quagliarella, James Rodriguez, Di Maria, Kylian Mbappe, team of the week, Ben Yedder, um, Robertson. So there's a lot of the cards that are now back into packs, as you could have guessed before. But a lot of those cards, again, that have dropped is just like last week. Last week we had a set of, you know, like I still have a couple of them on my transfer list. Some of those lower rated special cards that got re-released back into packs, like this Rebic and Gerard Moreno, these guys were down at 18,000 coins. Now they're back up to 26K. I actually should have sold them. I should have sold them earlier because now they've gone down again. And you're going to see why here in just a second. Basically the same thing happened this week. If we go over and take a look. At some of these cards, there we go. I like to keep this evened up for you guys. Um, but th this is abs absolutely ridiculous. This is what happened last week as well. You have 86 rated team of the season cards for basically discard in Manuel da Costa, Heldon, Pookie. Those guys are all in packs right now. But the bigger price drops you see down here at the bottom: 87 rated players for 13k as well. And that's a good. That's an easy linking center back from Argentina. If you're doing like an 85, all the way up to maybe an 89 rated squad. Um, you can use this 87 rated card, link him to like an Otamendi, and you know, boom, there you have a, a, a link to him. Like play this guy right back, whatever, get some chemistry for your for Icon SBCs. 88 rated players, 20,000 coins. If you're looking to do an Icon SBC, uh, now is the now is the time. Take advantage. Another thing, um, there's a benefit of having all these cards back in packs is that these cards go down which drops the price of the gold cards. Look at all this, the cheapest 88 rated players. You have to go all the way down the list to find your first gold player, Buffon, 24K for an 88 rated card, which is crazy. The 89s are so low as well, Varinha at 24K, 22K for Quintero, uh, Pablo Sarabia headliner, 25K, Isco, 26K. Some of these cards are just ridiculous prices um, for SBCs right now especially in the higher tier range. Even like a 90 rated Chiellini, 31,000 coins down here really low with some of these cards. 30K for a 91 rated, 40K for a 92 rated. So doing Icon SBCs is very, very easy right now. And look at some of these prices. If you are at all considering doing an Icon SBC, we have a Team of the Week SBC available to get Team of the Week cards easy. We have gold upgrades. We have cheap special cards on the market that you can buy and put into these squads to finish out whatever you can't craft. Now is the perfect time to do an Icon SBC if you have your eyes set on it, if you have the coins. There's other stuff in packs as well so that you can get money back from the packs a lot more easy than you could uh, previous. Hullets, 2.5 million coins. Ronaldinho Prime, or excuse me, Ronaldo Prime, 3.1 million coins. Ronaldinho is 1.7 Vieira 1.3, Eusebio 1.8. Like this Ronaldo card, we look at the SBC price. Look at the dip down here to actually 2.9 million coins. It dropped like 500, 600,000 coins today just from these, these SBC cards being a lot lower. This isn't going to stand you know, forever. It's not going to last like this for a long time. People are going to realize that these cards have gotten low, and you can already see they started to rebound. Hullet was 2.4 million. Um, when the cards first came out today. But you guys have time to do these. I would say do this in the next day or so because as you're watching this video, people are opening up weekend league rewards and a lot of these cards again are gonna be this cheap or even cheaper. It'd be a great time to do at least a club stock of some of these special cards uh, during weekend league rewards right now on Thursday. Stock them, get them in your club, and then you can start continuing to work towards those Icon SBCs this weekend if you're doing packs or whatever you're doing um, because a lot of those cards are just ridiculously cheap out on the market. Now, of course, 
since we do have these SVCs out right now, um, a lot of people are being driven to do these. Now, I'm sure there's a lot more people doing the 81 double plus, the 82 plus, and the 81 to 86 right now because of all these players being in packs. Um, so the high rated, the or the gold cards, just the regular gold cards might be inflated a little bit. I haven't looked at those. But I do want to go ahead and take a look at some of these special teams that we talked about. I hope you, Hopefully you guys listened and got rid of some of these cards if you had them in your team. Because I look at some player like this Firmino card. He's 104,000 coins right now on the Xbox. It looks like he was a little bit lower. But look how much he dropped off already because people knew that this was coming. People knew that this was coming. Look at this. He has not gone in packs until today. And he has dropped from 200k all the way down to 100,000 coins for Roberto's Firmino. For Roberto's Firmino, 89 rated card. Now, that might not be the best example because he has an SBC out at the moment right now. Um, but, I mean, some of these cards that are very usable that a lot of people use in this game, um, even this Mane card, how much did this card drop today? I'm not sure if this is one of the ones that's in packs or not. I would assume that it is, down 100,000 coins. Uh, f yes, this is definitely one of the ones that is now back in packs. But again, we saw it today, 210,000 coins. He's already back up to 259. So these cards are going to get more supplied from Weekend League Rewards. Watch their dips, especially these these cards like this. They're still very usable, um, and they're going to be continually to fluctuate. Um, but there's going to be a lot of supply at Rewards, and that's what I wanted to. That's why I mentioned the Icon SBCs. You know, some of these guys like 92 PK. That card's going to drop. Um, with rewards, an 86 rated Tadic, 87 rated Giroud for 17k, that's going to drop with rewards. All A lot of this stuff, and we're only looking at one squad, let's go look at the uh, the Carnivals. A lot of this stuff is going to drop at rewards, so if you're looking to do an Icon SBC, that's going to be, the next you know 24 hours is going to be a great time to do that for the SBC fodder. Um, part of cards in this game. Now this Neymar card's at 2.22 mil. How much has he dropped? He was up here at 2.5. You know, so he's down like 300,000 coins. I would be very curious to see what happens to this card. I'm currently recording this before Weekend League Rewards comes out. I would love to see what happens to this card after Weekend League Rewards. I could see it going under 2 mil, possibly. Just because Neymar has so many other special cards in the game. And if you look what happened to this 94 last week, I mean, he went from about 1.4 mil down here, and he ended up being 970k, which he still is right now. So this card dropped about 450 to 500,000 coins in total. And of course, this card, the Carnival Neymar that we just looked at, has only dropped about 300k right now. So I would expect this card to drop a little bit more if that's something that you're eyeing in your team. And that is also making me pretty interested in the prices of these other cards as well. Just to see if that affects anybody, you know, using the team of the year or the team of the season. Don't think it will, but that is a possibility. So we're going to get a big supply of the headliners, of the FFS cards, of all that stuff that went into packs today. We're going to get a big time supply of that, of those cards, back onto the game just because there's going to be a lot of packs that are going to be opened. But now is... I mean, this is a crafter's dream. I mean, I just keep thinking about this because I'm looking at doing the Maldini SBC right now at this time. And this is just an absolute crafter's dream in terms of um, being able to do SBCs and being able to craft SBCs from scratch, from doing upgrade packs. That 81 to 86 upgrade pack, you can do it for literally 4,000 coins, buying four gold cards and rinsing silvers and bronzes out of your, out of your club. And it looks like you can buy rare golds for around 850 to 900 coins, so they're not that expensive as well. If you just want to buy players and stack some 81 plus packs or 82, um, I've, I've heard some people say that this 82 plus pack is very good for them. So you can kind of give them a try and see which one's better. But you're getting a lot of walkouts from a lot of these packs. And what you're going to see um, with from me over the next couple of days is I'm looking to craft um, Maldini. I'm probably going to craft the Firmino. So we're going to be crafting a lot of players from SBCs, trying them out, having fun with them. And uh, that's what this time of the year is all about, man. That's what this time of the year is all about. I was a little disappointed at first when I didn't see the Major League Team of the Seasons in packs today. But I had to go back to this webpage and take a look at it. And rereading it made me understand better that we'll probably see those cards uh, in batch number three. All right, In batch number three, that's when we're going to see a lot of this Team of the season actual team of the season cards. So 
I know this is a market video. I know a ton of people are opening rewards right now. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. Smash a thumbs up on it if you did. Just a good old market talk for your Thursday. Looking at the market, obviously there's a lot of movement going on. And if you want to do an Icon SBC, uh, I'm definitely going to have to put that in the title of this video because SBCs, Icon SBCs in general right now, anything SBC related because all kinds of cards are cheap for SBC fodder and stuff like that. Go do yourself an Icon SBC. You have a lot of good value opportunity from the packs back, especially with everything that is in packs. So um, that's my suggestion to you guys on that one. If you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Don't forget to check my Twitch link and my Twitter link down below in the description as well to catch me when I do go live with rewards today, opening a bunch of packs and starting my crafting um, to that Maldini card and other SBCs. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.